Dude, you're a rat. Why are you not running away? When I first came out of the house, I saw a big squirrel sitting next to a real little squirrel. And I thought, well, maybe it's, uh, you know, there's a pregnant squirrel with a nest back there. That maybe, they're, maybe their babies are old enough, they brought one of them out. And I threw a peanut in the... The big squirrel came down and got the peanut. And then I looked back and I said, yeah, that, I'm not sure that's a squirrel. So I got my camera and I got a little bit closer. And uh, yeah, sure enough, there's a, uh, a tree rat. It goes by a lot of different names in Florida and other places. It's a... Uh, roof rat, brown rat, tree rat, but in Florida they're pretty endemic in the in the brush and along fence lines and things like that and if you let uh, fruit trees grow right over your house uh, you know like palm trees and things like that hanging over your roof they'll end up uh, getting on your roof and if they can find an opening getting in the house but I don't have that problem I never hardly have ever seen one and uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one in the daytime out eating uh, on the squirrel feeding platform, just uh, maybe because it's unusually warm this winter, or maybe it's an unusually smart rat. I mean, they observe just like the uh, blue jays and the others, and they see the food, and they figure that they can sneak out there and uh, get it. What's really surprising is that uh, the rat was sitting right next to the, I didn't get a video of it, when I first came out, the rat was sitting right next to the squirrel. Of course, the squirrel is huge compared to the rat. These are little rats. And, uh, you know, it's unusual for a squirrel and a rat to sit side by side, but I guess they're cousins, so, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're getting along. But uh, the important thing about the rat is they're at the bottom of the food chain. Uh, it's why you don't want to kill rat snakes or corn snakes because they eat these little rats. And the screech owls eat these too. I mean, I found a couple of rat skeletons in their yeah. screech owl box last season, so the yeah, screech yeah, owls will be right? out there. Uh, you know, these rats, uh, you know, serve a useful purpose. They don't live long, but uh, they're definitely at the low end of the food chain. And we may see this rat show up uh, later this winter in the screech owl nest box as a food for the outlets. A little unafraid rat. Dude, you're a rat. Why are you not running away? What kind of rat is that? I've never seen anything like that.